y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I'm back with my second day of my Christmas series um 12 days of Christmas and I thought we would do a simple fun interactive card so when you lay this card flat um it kind of looks weird but you know it's going to be cute um but anyway this card measures five and a half by seven and so you can actually get a pretty large envelope if you wanted to mail this. Um, these would also be great for like little centerpieces on your table or whatever. But they're really cute. See what it looks like. But when you open it up, it's actually a pop-up card. Isn't that super cute? I just love this so much. And I thought I need to display this at my craft fair. It'd be darling. Um, but anyway, I am using for this particular one... I'm using the um, Simple Vintage North Pole. Um, I've used this quite a bit. It's been my favorite tape paper collection. It's by Simple Stories. Super, super, super cute. So let's just quickly, let me show you how to make this. Now the collection that I'm gonna use today is uh, Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. Sorry for the glare, y'all. It's by DCWV. I got it last year at um, Joanne Fabrics. So I've gone ahead and cut my paper and you need a piece of 12 by 12 and cut it from, cut it down from to 12 by 7. On this 7 inch side, you're going to score it at 4 inches and I've already got my score line on there. Just trying to save a little time. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it at 2 and 3 fourths. Ignore this line because I accidentally uh, scored over one inch and I shouldn't have. But it's two and three fourths, and I'm just going to leave that because I'm covering it anyway. Five and a half, eight and a quarter, and then 11. So you have that one inch flap on the end. Easy. Simple, simple box. Okay. Okay, so we're going to grab, we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to start cutting away here. So, um, this down here is the part that will help close our little box. So, I'm just going to cut this at an angle and cut up to that score line. And I'm just going to cut down on the first line. So, the four inches of the box is toward the bottom. This is the rest that's on the top. So, so the three inches at the top. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to turn it. You're going to cut on your other score lines. You can cut them at an angle if you'd like. Just to kind of take a little bulk off the edges. Ignore that score line because that's where I accidentally scored it and I just didn't want to waste I just didn't want to waste my paper. Okay, so there we go. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna fold on all my score lines. You can fold before, you can fold after. It's up to you. I'm just gonna get these folded so that way we got that done. This is a very fast, once you figure out the design you want. Now I'm gonna fold my box sides together. I'm going to use my bone folder to get this. I am actually off today because I have to work on my craft fair stuff and um, I wanted to get this done before I get busy because I want to make sure I get my my video out for today and then tonight I'll choose the winner of my giveaway y'all unbelievable comments have been made under my video thank you so much okay so you have your little flap over here and actually I shouldn't have folded this one down but you have your little flap it's gonna go like this okay so we're gonna need to put our adhesive on this side of our flap Yes, unbelievable stories I have been trying to read. Last night, I, my husband's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to read all these comments. 
even though I can't personally answer each one of them, there was there were so many touching ones. I love to hear about your traditions, and um, you know, just because it's 2020 and everybody says, "Oh, 2020," you know what? Still, a new day. We woke up today. God let us wake up today. Okay, so we got this like this. So our flaps are actually going to be folding backwards. So with your little flap on this end where you're going to close it, the first two you'll fold. Don't fold this one. And then this one will be folded back. Okay, so that's how we do that. So again, this is 7 by 12. And you're going to score it at 4 inches. Flip it on then onto the long side. It's three, it's two and three fourths. Hold on a minute. Oh, two and three fourths, five and a half, eight and a quarter, and eleven. Okay, makes a perfectly square box. See? Okay. So now let's get going on our the decorative paper. And I really, 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 really like this one. It's got like Merry Christmas, Home for the Holidays, and I thought that would be super, super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, I just dropped one. Hopefully I didn't get my head in the way there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some tape on this. This piece measures two and a half by six and three fourths. And it's gonna fit right here on this, this second one from the end of the where the flap is, okay? Let's kind of line it up right there. And then you're also going to need another one that's going to go on the other side. So I've cut this one for the other side. And I also had cut this one because I just couldn't decide. But I really, really think that this one is so cute. It reminds me of some fabric that I bought recently. And um, yeah, it's super, super cute. So I'm going to put these both aside and then I'll make a decision of which one I want to do. Okay, so since this box is going to fold up like this, you really don't need anything on the bottom of these squares right here. You just need it on the top. So, and this is actually going to flip out. So whenever, whenever it flips out, like if you're using words like this, you want to make sure the words aren't going to be upside down. So I'm going to flip mine over and I'm going to add... I'm going to add my little my pieces here where my words are not going to be upside down. Because if I would have did it this way, my words would be upside down. So I'm going to flip it over and just to make sure that I get it right here. And you're going to put some paper on the other side. But we want to put it where the words are going to be, where they're being read. Hopefully you get that. Hopefully uh, I explained that well enough. So this little piece of paper, these measure two and a half by um, two and three fourths. And so you're gonna need you're gonna need six or you're gonna need six of them because one for each side. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's get this up here down. And I'm just gonna get this lined up in here. So then I'm going to need this one. And I'm going to put this one here. Yes, lots to do today. So after I finish this, I have to get myself ready and I have to go get a COVID test because um, where my dad lives, since I'm an essential caregiver, where my dad lives, somebody tested positive for COVID. So two days ago, my dad was tested along with all the other residents and I'm praying that no one else has it and no staff, but since I'm an essential caregiver, I have to go get tested. Okay, so there we are. I got my words where when it opens up, they're going the right direction. So just remember if you're using um, a directional print to put it the right way. Okay, so it's going to end up looking like this. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and put our paper on the backs as well. And I think that's, I think that, let me see what else I had cut here. So if I did the snowflakes, or if I did this one, I really do kind of like the snowflakes better, but for the theme that I want to go with on here, I'm thinking that I might do the donuts. So this one, of course, measures, let me get it right again, two and a half by six and three fourths. Let me go ahead and get this adhered to the back. You can use tape or glue or whatever. So. Anyway, I have to go and get COVID tested just because I'm an essential caregiver. Not that I'm worried that I have COVID because I know I don't. Um, but this is actually going to be the third time that I've had to get tested because of going in to see my dad. Okay. So I went ahead and now that it's got those those papers on that side, you can add whatever you want on here. Um, I think that for the bottoms, I might put the snowflakes and maybe the tops, I'll put the donuts. Because um, I've already got these cut. So these will go, these will go here. And just like, oops, actually wrong ones. Oh. Let's go with this. Actually, I need to. I think I need to cut. I want to make sure I do this right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think I well I have this fun one too. And sorry to be iffy on my paper, but um, I really do like this one too. So I think maybe I'll put these on the bottom and the donuts on the top. That would be a great idea. So I'm going to remove this. I think I'm going to go with this other paper. So let's cut these really fast. Okay, so I've got my two and a half by two and three fourths. And these pieces are actually going to fit up here in the top. Actually, I think I cut one of them too short. Two and a half by two and three fourths. So let me cut one more. And we'll go right over here. So let's get these in here down. The back of this paper is so cute. It's got peppermint pretzels. So cute. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I'm lining this up kind of in the center of the flap. Let's do the other two. Just make sure if you're using a directional print on these that you're putting them all the same direction. Like I wouldn't want to have one vertical lines and one horizontal lines. So, okay, we're going to get this one. Okay, so there's our top ones. So now I'm going to cut some of the bottom pages and I think I'm going to use the donut paper. So we're going to do two and a half across. It's just like what the top ones is. So I've got my two and a half. Okay. And then let me see what my other papers that I had already cut. Three and three fourths. So two and a half by three and three fourths. I'm going to need three. be for our bottom. I'm going to go all right here. Okay, let's get these adhered on. The other side's cute too. It's chocolate sprinkle with sprinkles. That's super cute. I look like I've got this one a little crooked. Let's see if I can fix it. I didn't do too well. I gotta be able to see the top. I just want to make sure it's even. Okay, let's get this one. Someone told me before, and I've said this 
They've said, thank you for not taking your mistakes out of your videos. Because, you know, if you take your mistakes out, everybody always thinks that, that everything is perfect. It's not perfect, y'all. Not perfect. So, you know what? If we cut it wrong, we just recut. It's okay. Or if we put it crooked, we fix it. I'm gonna move this over just a tad. Make sure you don't get it all the way up to the folds. Okay, so now I've got both sides covered. So now we're gonna adhere these together. So I've already got my tape on here. And then all you're gonna do is fold it over. And now you got your box. See how cute that is? Now you know why you want your words to go the right way. You don't want them to be upside down. Okay, so now we need to make, put the little strips of paper down inside that's gonna hold our little pieces that pop up. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need um, two strips. You can do more than that, you can do three if you want. But I'm gonna do two. And you're gonna, you're gonna cut them at four and three fourths by one. And you're gonna score one inch on each end. I was gonna make chili for dinner yesterday. And I went in there and realized I was missing three ingredients. I'm like, well, there went that chili. And then I thought, well, I could make taco soup. Because it's a cold day, you know, you kind of want soup. Well, that didn't work out either because I was missing some ingredients for that too. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an inch scoring on each side. That way then this piece right here actually is going to be the width of the inside of your box. I'm just gonna fold these. Let's do the other one. One inch, flip it around, one inch. Okay, should be all the scoring that you need. Okay, so we're gonna fold these. So then I decided, okay, back to my dinner. So then I decided, well, you know, I could always make sloppy joes because I had a pound of ground beef I had thawed out. And I said, okay, well, I don't have any buns, so. And so I said, well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to go down to the store, down to the corner, and it's actually like a gas station. It's like a bucks. It's a bucks. And I said, what I'm going to do is if they have, if they have uh, buns there, I'll just come back and quickly make the sloppy joes and voila. Well, I went down there and then I said, well, and they have a witch witch inside. It's a sandwich shop. And I said, well, if they don't have that, then what I'll do is I'll just end up buying Witch Witch for, for dinner and we'll just have a sandwich. And my husband and I, we like that. And I went down there and guess what? They did not have buns, so it ended up being Witch Witch. So today I'm going to get those ingredients to make the chili. Because I really wanted some chili. When it's chilly outside, you like something, something that coats your stomach. You know, by the time my husband gets home, it's already dark and... I'm sure he would like something warm. He doesn't mind which which. So, oh, and we had this debate last night. Which one is our favorite sandwich shop? Subway or which which? And my husband said, which which? And I said, okay, what about between a Jimmy John's and which which? And he said, which which? I kind of like Jimmy John's. Okay. Okay, so I added some paper on each end. And so one of these is going to be where it's going to go in the back. Okay, so it's gonna fit on the back. So I'm just gonna peel my tape off. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna line these up or get it down in here and I'm gonna put it down, I don't know, just a little bit down in my box, maybe eighth of an inch or so. I like my stuff um up toward the top so as you see here see how i put it and the flaps are going toward the back so you have about an inch there so then the one that you're putting on the front 
is actually going to go this way with your flaps going forward. Oops, easy as that. Okay, so now I'm going to have my little piece of paper going forward and I need to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. I don't want my little stickies to come. Okay, I'm going to put it, go down just a little bit. And I'm trying to put it flush with like the front of the box. See? So this is how it ends up looking. So you have two. Now you have two. So press these down really well. Okay, so now we have the base of our card. Super cute, right y'all? So I thought it would be cute and I was looking through this paper collection and they have some recipe cards in there because it's Mrs. Claus Kitchen. So I thought it would be cute to utilize these little cut aparts here, these little tags, because they have little foodie items and have them be the interactive parts of our, of our little card. And I thought it would be cute to try to cut this down and make the recipe on the back. So if you're giving this to someone, sorry about that y'all. If you're getting, giving this to someone, it, you could actually, if you were, can write small enough, you could actually um, put a recipe on there for your recipient. So I thought that, that would be a super cute idea. So I am going to, I've got to try to cut this down because y'all don't want it this big. So I have to cut it. I'll have to cut some sides off. I need to make this fit. I'm going to make it fit. So I'm going to cut it all the way down where it says recipe on the side over there. Just so I know that it's going to give me that much more space. I can have it hang out just a little bit. I don't want to cut off. Um, I don't want to cut off everything. But I'm going to cut it down to, I'm going to cut it down to where the directions part. Because this right here, even though a little bit of that is cover, is still on there, you can add a little sticker or something to cover it up or whatever right over it. So now if I have it like this, it just sticks over just a little bit. So I thought that that would be super cute. But of course, you know, we have to layer up. You can't can't not layer something up because that makes it look good and um, grab my tape I'm just gonna layer up on some scraps of red that I have here this red paper I had in my stash and boy has it been great it is the most sturdy paper I got it at Tuesday morning like two years ago okay so there we go. So I'm going to have this. This one's going to be adhered right here. And I, I could use like a dimensional to put it on there to make it stick out. Or I might just put it flat. And I think I think for this particular one, I'm going to put it flat. I'm going to use a little bit of my, use a little bit of my tear and tape for this part. Just because I want to make sure everything's all good to go. And I'm just going to adhere this to the back. So, because the other one I had a little bit overhang on the Holly Jolly one, it's okay. It's okay. It's still going to fold. See what? It's still going to fold. Okay, now I got this one down just a little bit. And when I did fold it, it kind of made the bottom move a little. So, I'm going to peel it and try to move it up just a tad. If I can get this up without tearing anything. It's a good thing I didn't press good on the press hard and I did tear, but it's okay. It's gonna be on the back. It's a save, friends. It's a save. So I'm gonna add this. I wanna make sure that whenever my little things um fold up, they don't catch this. There, so I moved it up just a little bit, so now it will go like that, okay? And I think I need a little bit of glue underneath. So I'm gonna add a little shot of glue. 
right underneath. Get that held down because I did not put tape toward the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna get this pressed down. And I think the cut apart is coming up a little bit too, so I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so there we go. So now we'll have the recipe sticking up. And let me get my glue pen on. I'm using art glitter glue. Okay, so I'm gonna utilize these cute little tags as the interactive parts because they have food on them. So I thought that that would be super cute to add them on. And I think that I will use um, the peppermint. I'm gonna cut these, just kind of cut them out. I don't like to leave a little bit of the brown. I'm gonna cut off that top part, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. I need to trim that side. Okay, I'm gonna finish my cutting. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've matted up my little pictures and um, I think that one upside down and turn it around. Um, but what I did is I went ahead and I matted them for the sake of time on on some cardstock and I left some that I want to put in the back a little, on a little bit longer strip of paper. And this one measures like uh, about one and a half by say three. And so what you're going to need to do is you're going to put some cards or some tape on the bottom. And I'm going to stick mine behind the little strip of paper that I put there. So now it sticks up, okay? If you want it to go down a little lower, go down a little lower. Let's see if I can get it down just a little bit. I don't want to cover up my recipe. Okay, I'm pulling it down because I want it to go down just a little bit. Okay. So there we go. Let's do it like that. So now I've got my my little ice cream cone. I also have a little hot chocolate and I layered it up on the paper. Put a little stitch of tear and tape on the bottom. There I go, see I put the tape. Add this one back here. So now I have two. Super cute. And then I layered up the donut on a little bit shorter paper, so that way I can put it in the front. Let's get this one on. And then I think we'll do, I think I'll put this one on the front. I want it to go down just a little bit. Put it down. So now we have some food items. So now it will open up like this. Super cute, huh? And then you could take like these extras. I've got a few extras. I'm gonna cut those down. You can add these on. Decorate your flaps. Oh, you know what? I should have put that over just a tad because I got a girl when they need to be together. Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread Man, they love each other and they should be together. They are best friends. Okay. So now it's going to go here. And then you'll add a little glue there, y'all. And then you're going to add um, something on the sides. So I'm going to look and see if I have anything in my little stash. We always have to add a little bit of Santa. And here we got a Santa. I could even put the Santa up here. He would be cute up there. Or let's just put him back here. Let's put him over here. Because, you know, we want him to say Merry Christmas. 
So we're gonna put him over here. And then let's see, you wanna put something on, on all the sides because it's a pop-up greeting, y'all. Oh, I've got some little candy cane here. We'll go right here. That will cover up where I cut. So that's cute. Now I just need one more thing for this other side. And I'm just looking through my little my little uh, pieces here. Let's see, I have. Oh, here's a happy holidays. Let's put a happy holidays over there too. Now you can add um, this on some dimensional if you want, some dimensional tape. Or. Or not, that's up to you. On the other one I did add oh, happy holidays. And then I just need one more. Oh look, here we go. A letter to Santa. So this could be that we're sending a recipe to Santa. Or it can just be decoration. Whenever I decorate, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, that looks good. I want that. You can add some jimmies if you want. You can add something on the back. But look, so now here's our card. So it lays flat, and when it opens up, there we go. Isn't that so cute, y'all? I love it. Just make sure if you're going to do a recipe, write the recipe on there before you give it, because it'd be really hard to write the recipe now. But how cute is that? That is super, super, super cute. I love this. And now I have two, my friends. I have two. How cute are these? These are just absolutely darling. <sighs> I love it. Okay, y'all. And these will actually, if you get a large enough envelope, you can put these in the envelope and you can mail them to someone. Like I said before, add a, you can add white paper on the back and you could write a greeting on there, um, on the back, sign your name, whatever you want to do. And it's just a little pop-up greeting. So how fun is this? Anyway, this completes part um, the second video of the series, The 12 Days of Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hope that you will give this a try. And um, yeah, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, y'all.